On Seatbelt Psychic, the writers never know they're about to get a reading. So we wanted to follow suit with a twist, of course. Instead of a cab, we're using a golf cart. Our rider is our unsuspecting good friend, American Ninja Warrior's very own Matt Eisman. <laughs> he is a warrior, right? He's a warrior, yeah. yeah. Matt, y'all get this, Matt thought that he was hitting the greens to play a, you know, a round of golf with a young golf prodigy. Wrong. <laughs> Have you heard much about this Tim kid? Not a lot, no. Okay. I am a little concerned we've lost an 11-year-old kid on a golf course here. So, do you um, believe in psychics? Yeah. Because I'm actually a psychic medium. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're open to that. I, I'm totally open yeah. to it. Look, I, I'm a doctor, and I believe there are forces that we don't understand. Yeah, I yeah, believe yeah. there's energies and things. I believe there's a power greater than us all. Let me see. Let me kind of tune in and see what I feel. Okay. I'm connecting with an older man. It, I feel like it could be your grandfather, um, but it, it feels like it's more on dad's side. Okay. A lot of times I'll hear names. Uh -huh. um, names could be people that are in the living, or they could be people over there. So the, the, the first name I heard was Manny. Oh my God. Do you, do you know who that is? That's my dad's dad. Okay. So I feel like he definitely watches over you. Um, it's interesting because I feel like I'm also supposed to reference, I don't know if this would make sense to you, but I feel like I'm supposed to reference like um, somebody having a kid a little bit later in life. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, my dad has, I don't have children. Right. And uh, last time I was with my dad, he, uh, subtly pointed out that if I don't have a son, the Eisman name will no longer exist. Oh, interesting, Same. yeah. And who's Eileen? Oh my God, that's my dad's mom, okay. my, my grandma. Yeah, so you know what's interesting oh is, is I feel like if you're open to it, you will have the opportunity and to have children in this life. It's like, it, it comes up that you will. You know what also, I don't, I don't know, this might go back several generations, but something where the name was changed. Do you understand that? Oh, God. So, Eisman is not the original name. It uh -huh. was Eisenman. Okay. There were a lot of Eisenman. Oh, and I they see. wanted to differentiate it, so the name was changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about these things that I just spent talking about my parents with, especially because I feel like, I'm not sure how much longer they'll longer my dad will be around. Right. So, uh, one of the things he wants is to know, uh, uh that I'll have someone with me. Mm -hmm. You know, not just Well, it's interesting, because when I was, when I was coming here, I was like, you know, they, they didn't tell me anything about who I was picking up or anything like that. They just said, you know, you're going to do a reading for somebody there. And I kept having this thought that I was going to talk a lot about your dad. I almost felt like the, the reading was going to be like, for you, but sort of about him. As he's getting, I think, uh, a little close to the end, I think he's getting much more emotional and, whew. Uh, I think I know my dad, skeptical though he might be, mm -hmm. he will appreciate here and there's a chance that there's a, a grandchild in his future for me. I'm exhausted. Right. But Thomas, I gotta say thank you. All right. I really appreciate it. This this was great. One one favor? Yes. If you can help me find that special someone yeah. that I'd appreciate it. I'll work on that. Ben and Kelly, you got me again. But this time, I actually want to say thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thomas, have a good one. All thank right, you. bye.